in this video, we are going to partake in some very sneaky insider stock trading. And I know what you're thinking. Hey, yeah, has a, you, you probably shouldn't admit to insider trading by making a YouTube video about it. You can get 20 yeah, years 20 in years prison for doing such thing. You wouldn't last a day in the cell. I said what I said. Yeah, yeah, but you guys know me. I'll do anything for clout and subscribers. I'm kidding, but only slightly. I think what we're actually gonna be doing in this video is fairly legal. I mean, I think it feels pretty illegal and I'm not a lawyer, but first off, what is insider trading? I'll give you guys the Investopedia definition here. Insider trading is the buying or selling of a publicly traded company stock by someone who has non-public material information about that stock. So I don't know, let's say I'm the CEO of a publicly traded pharmaceutical company researching a cure for Ligma. Three years in, the head scientist tells me that the disease is incurable and the pill that we've been developing actually exponentially makes the disease worse so i take this sneaky information and before the public finds out i tell all the homies yo trust you guys got to tap in with some puts short my stock we're about to plummet i buy some puts of my own go all in on the shorting and then when the news reaches the public the stock goes down and we're all eating because we have puts that is up until the sec comes knocking on our door and puts us in prison for committing insider trading a couple more key takeaways here on investopedia this form of insider trading is illegal and comes with stern penalties including both potential fines and jail time i searched it up and apparently you can get up to 20 years of prison for committing this kind of thing but then finally the last and very important key takeaway here is insider trading can be legal as long as it conforms to the rules set forth by the sec and what are those rules well there was an act passed in 1934 called the securities exchange act of 1934 which was kind of the start of insider trading regulations. So nowadays, if you're high up in a publicly traded company, if you're a director or a major shareholder, maybe a CEO, CFO, you have to publicly disclose if you're buying or selling your own stock. I guess you got to file some paperwork and whatnot. Guys! And that paperwork is all public. So you and I can see when the CEO of a particular company sells their stock or buys up more of it, which is kind of insane. But the even crazier part is that there's a website called dataroma.com that tracks and organizes all of this buying and selling. And this isn't like a sponsored video the website is absolutely free check this out you go on this website common sense i'm clicking on this ad a few times just so the owner gets a little kickback but on this website you can also track the buying and selling of super investors which these are either very famous investors or hedge funds dealing with billions of dollars we can see the exact portfolios of these huge firms i can see what tci fund management is holding which is a fund controlling over 30 billion dollars anyways though back on topic the part of this website that i found just incredibly interesting is this insiders tab right here that shows you the recent buying and selling of stock from insiders this is no so if you're the CEO of a publicly traded company and you just sold off a bunch of stock, your name would pop up over here and we could see how much you sold, what your company name is and what kind of relationship you have with the company, which I didn't know you could see all of this. I'm pretty mind blown by this whole thing. And in this video, I want to trade stocks based on this live insider trading information. And I mean, it makes a lot of sense, right? If I see the CEO and director of a company sell off a significant amount of shares of their company. Why would they do such a thing? Sure, some of them might just need the money for something else, but if you dig deeper, I'm sure some of these people selling their own stock have to know something that we don't about the company. Why are they losing faith and pulling out? Or on the other hand, if we see the owner of a company buy up a ton of shares of their company using their own money, probably a really good sign. And again, they likely have a reason and information backing up that decision. And you do have to apply some critical thinking here. If a director of Walmart sells off a million dollars worth of stock, that probably doesn't mean anything. But if we see the CEO of a very small company sell off $50 million worth of their stock, well, that's kind of fishy. And what if in that scenario, we buy puts on that stock, which means we'd make money if it went down. I really want to try this out. So we're going to take 10 grand, dive in here, look through some of this data and allocate the 10 grand based on the insider trading data that we find. I actually just looked at some notes from the creators of this website and one of the things they're pointing out is that as a general rule buys are somewhat more significant than sells which that makes a lot of sense when people sell their own stock maybe they just need the money whereas if you buy up your own stock that's kind of a power move so let's filter through this data and see what we can find. Scanning. Control. Manipulate scientific data. Okay, I think we may have our first potential find here. Hold on, let me let me pitch you guys, properly pitch you on this investment. Hello sharks, today I'm coming at you with the investment opportunity of a lifetime. This company ticker HGen, full name, Humanigan, Humanigen? Not sure, but either way, already, I mean, based off the name alone, this sounds mad sketchy. Who even are they? Great question. They are a 
clinical stage by a pharmaceutical company who develops a portfolio of immuno-oncology and immunology monoclonal antibodies in the United States. Are these even real words? I don't know, but combine that with the fact that the chief scientific officer and 10% shareholder of this biopharmaceutical company has sold off like $50 million worth of shares, I think, in the last three months. And this is a company with a market cap that's sitting at around a billion total. Why would you not short this company? If the head of science in a science-based company is heavily selling off, I wouldn't say that's a good sign. Idiot, he's a con artist. Are you guys sold? I am gonna buy two grand worth of puts. Next up, we have ticker ZI, stands for Zoom Info, which is a company that sells access to its database of information about business people and companies. I think this is for finding leads or recruiting. And there's just pages of people inside this company selling off their stock. In the last three months, there has been $900 million worth of insider stock sold, zero buying. And then if you look in the last year, there's been $6 billion worth of insider selling, zero insider buying. Sounds terrible, but they did just IPO last year so this could be people just cashing in their shares which i think that's a pretty normal thing that happens once companies ipo so this one i don't have the strongest conviction behind but let's buy two grand worth of puts and see what happens now for the third stock we have something very different i'm excited on this one ticker rig company name transocean and this is apparently the world's largest offshore drilling contractor and if we look at the insider transactions in the last three months there has been 100 million dollars worth of insider purchasing by different directors and zero selling so i'm thinking we should buy some calls i got some calls today <laughs> Two more companies here, one by the ticker CYT, which stands for Cytere Therapeutics. It's a biotech company under a billion dollar market cap, and it kind of looks like a director and two of his homies just bought in five million each into their own company. Options trading isn't available for this company though, so we're just gonna buy $2,000 worth of regular stock. And then finally, stock ticker ATAY, which is a psychedelic company, and we're looking at about $20 million worth of insider purchasing in the last week or so. So I'm gonna put the rest of the 10 grand into calls for this stock, so about $1,500, $1,600. So that's that. I know the website said that in insider purchasing is a stronger, more clear signal than insider selling off. But with these five companies, we have both long and short positions because I didn't want to just do calls because then if the market just has a good week, everything would be up and it wouldn't be a very conclusive test. Whereas if we have both calls and puts, we need particular stocks to go up and others to go down in order to make money. So I'm very excited to see you guys in about a week with some results. Okay, it has now been a full week. We bought in on Monday and it is now past market close Friday. So let's get into these results. First up, HGen, we're up by 1%, nothing major. Second was the Zoom info puts. We are exactly at 0%, so no loss, no gain. But now that offshore drilling company ticker RIG that had a lot of insider purchasing, up 67% on our options. In one week, that's insane, but let's keep going. We have stock ticker CYT, which we're down 1.8% on. And then finally, the psychedelic company up 8% on our call position, which means our worst performing investment only lost about 2% and our best gained 67% in a week. Bro, what? <laughs> Given that these are the results, I wanna actually double down and keep this experiment going for another week and put another 10 grand on the line because this is pretty crazy. Again, it's not like we just bought calls and the market had a flourishing week. We placed specific calls and puts, so we needed certain companies to go down and they did. I did not expect this to go that well, so yeah, I'm gonna take 10 grand out on margin because I'm not putting any new money into this Robinhood account, but we'll take that 10 grand and pick another five stocks based on the insider trading data on Dataroma. And I'm also gonna keep the positions that we bought last week open. So I'll once again, see you guys in another week with a crazy final two week update. And I think we'll probably sell out of the positions then. Right, so it has now been just short of two weeks. Let's get into what ended up happening with the $19,632 that we gambled on stock options. It's gone. It's all gone. First off, though, quick disclaimer, I did not thoroughly research the companies we went into. I kind of only invested based on the insider trading we saw on Dataroma alone. So I haven't done the math yet. I'm not sure if overall we're up or down. But either way, I'll still upload this video because I just think this is a pretty crazy tool. I just went in based on insider trading data alone. But imagine if you just start your research from that. You find a few companies with current interesting insider trading and then look much deeper into their financial filings, news around the companies, the social sentiment around them. 
Is it something trending? Just overall, if you dig deeper, well, then I think this can actually be a great strategy for short term trading. Some of you guys may know with my actual non entertainment purposes money, I'm all about buy and hold type investing. And I've compared day trading specifically to poker in the past. It's sort of like gambling. I don't have the most positive outlook on it, but with this kind of trading where you might be in a position for a couple of weeks to a few months based on some real facts, That's facts, I can completely get behind this kind of short term trading. Anyways, let's get into the results, starting with the first five stocks we got into two weeks ago. We have HGen down around 5% not a vibe. Zoom info puts up around 5%. Oh man, the rig options, we went from being up like 67% last week to being down in the negative 5% this week. Anyways, though, we are then down 7% on CYT, but up 25 on ATAI. So that's all of the two week old options. Let's now get into the five stocks that we got into earlier this week. Up a percent on stock ticker S, down 13% on some Z Lab puts, and actually up 45% on some XPO puts. Now, these final two positions are the craziest out of this whole video. Let's start with the bad news on a company called Larimar Therapeutics. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I saw some insider buying, so I went into this with some calls and we're down like almost 100% on that. But this isn't even because the company fell significantly. In fact, it's up for the week, but I guess there was some very strange option activity going on behind the stock that screwed us over. I think this is more my fault for not paying attention to the option activity before buying in because it was a little weird. They were all up by like close to 10,000% for the day or something crazy like that. So we'll still count it towards the total loss or gain, but this could have been avoided. It's, it's almost like a glitch. Anyways though, final position was puts on ticker ATER. There was some insider selling, so we bet on the company going down and he did quite significantly actually we're up 150 percent on those puts so even with the options glitch we're still up by like 1700 dollars for the two weeks if we disregard that glitch that number would be closer to 3600 so not bad at all only made a couple thousand oh my god and if you guys have any suggestions on how we could further improve this insider scheme strategy, please drop those suggestions in the comments below. I did blog the SEC on Instagram, so legally, you, you should be fine. Anyways, though, hope you guys enjoyed this video and have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.